The Twelve Days of Christmas. Day 9. Hello, this is Harrods of Knightsbridge. My name is Reginald. How may I help you? Oh, hello, again. And a very good day to you, sir. Oh, I see. Not a particularly good day for you then, sir. What appears to be the trouble? Are the nine ladies dancing, sir? The nonette of nimble nymphs. Oh, yes, sir. Très élégant and very exotic. Only the very best for our Harrods customers, sir. So what appears to be your trouble with these lovely ladies? Ah, they were more erotic than exotic, I see. And you and your wife have had a falling out over it, uh, of them. Well, sir, they are described in our catalogue as exotic, burlesque-style dancers, sir. And I quote, Sensual and sultry, and shimmering with sequins, sir. You did read the After the Watershed clause in your purchase details, sir, recommending that you reserve this particular entertainment for After the Watershed, when all the children will be in bed, sir. Two teenage sons, on the cusp of adulthood. Ah, yes, tricky, sir. I can see why your boys, being of a certain age, would be totally... Um, Mesmerised by the dancers, sir, especially during the fan dance, sir. Very difficult to drag them away, I'm sure, sir, and confine them to their beds for the night. Oh, you could only get them to go to bed by promising to record the rest of the performance for them to watch later. Uh, sir, you do know that any recording or photography of the show is strictly forbidden, as per your contractual obligations... Oh, well, that's all right, then. You were just lying to your children to get their compliance, as per your normal parenting obligations, sir. I completely understand. Did you enjoy the show, sir? Only when your wife's stony gaze was not balefully fixed upon you. Hmm, so that's a no, then, sir. Ah, your wife was so not impressed, in fact, that she is demanding a refund for false advertising and public lewdness. Really, sir? Well, before I transfer you to our legal team to discuss this, might I make so bold as to suggest that your wife might be more not impressed with your reaction to the performers than with the performance itself, sir? Well, given that the performance was exactly as advertised, sir, well, perhaps we should have included pictures, sir, for your wife's peace of mind. I suspect that refund-wise, you don't really have a leg to stand on, sir, whether it be stocking, gartered and stilettoed, or otherwise, sir. <laughs> it was just my little joke, sir, to try and alleviate a potentially awkward situation. Uh, no, sir. I do apologise. Uh, yes, sir, I will transfer you across to our legal department right away. Yes, good luck, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, Reginald, sir. That's right. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. <laughs>